Hello everyone, this is Nora. Today I'm going to show you how to live stream with multiple Zcam E2 cameras without capture card. Yes, you hear me, we won't be using any capture card. In this case, what do we need to prepare? And how do we get access to the signals if we don't use a capture card? What software do we use? And uh, more importantly, is it easy to do so? Okay, now let's start with the camera setup. To start a live show, we'll need plenty of devices. For cameras, we choose Zcam E2 and E2 M4. Both suits live production well. And there's tripods. Power solution is also necessary for long time shooting. Then we'll need to have internet access and router and network cables. Of course, this Live Pro software is installed on a computer. First, set up the cameras and make sure everything works properly. In the cam menu, find connection, internet, ethernet work, and choose router. Connect the Zcam camera to router with a network cable. Connect the PC with VisLive Pro installed to the router via Wi-Fi. And all is set now. Start VisLive Pro and set the format of project. Click File and choose Change Project Settings option in the drop-down menu and then choose a proper video format. I'm gonna set HD 30p landscape mode. That means leaving the portrait mode option unchecked. And I want six channels. But if you want portrait mode, just change the settings. Click any cam label in this live pro and select Z camera in the drop down menu. Z cam cameras in the same line will be automatically detected. However, if the automatic detection fails to work, don't worry, you can input Z cam camera IP manually. Just like that, Z cam cameras can be connected to this Live Pro, and no capture card is needed in this process. different camera inputs. It's quite simple, just need to click the input and switch it to the PGM window. You can also switch channels with number pad on your keyboard. If you want to show more perspectives with the same cameras, digital zoom function can help you with that. Digital zoom and copy channel functions allow you dividing a 4K image into 4 HD images. You can add logos and all kinds of effects too. Now with all the inputs set, we can stream live to video platforms. At the upper right effect panel, you can see a plus sign. Click it to add a target streaming address. I input a RTMP address. By the way, RTMPS address is also supported. And now we can start live streaming. This Live Pro supports parallel live streaming. You can stream to five addresses at a time. I'm going to try to live stream to a few RTMP addresses. Meantime, you can also stream to YouTube, Facebook, Steam and other platforms with valid addresses. Just input all the information and then click stream button when it's done. Here you can see the total code stream. To the right of stream button, there's a record button. Before hitting record, we can select the recording file path and the encoder in the setting options. 
after recording starts, you can see the recording duration and the remaining recording time, which makes it more convenient for us to keep an eye on the live footage recording. That's a brief introduction about how to live streaming with multiple Zcam cameras. As for what do you use to catch the audience's eyes, I believe you have better solutions than I do. So that's it. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, just leave a message or you can send an email to support at hkwisdom.com. I'm looking forward to hearing more about Live production. Music.